welcome all welcome back to the technus corner so it finally arrived the hohim iSteady m6 kit and it's a gimbal it's my first stab at a gimbal um at least magnetically motorized per se should i say and yeah she is a doozy from my understanding i shies and you not like what i've been using essentially is this little thing these don't knock them to try them 450 yeah it's been doing the job but i've got myself a new phone it's actually if you have a look what we've got over here what we got here is the gimbal attached to the Samsung 23 Ultra. And with that, I want to eventually use it for 8K30, but we've got it currently recording in 4K60. It can record in 4K120 as well. And let's just see if we can light it up for you all. Alrighty. Gesture. And now it's following me. So wherever I go around the room, and then I can hold it down essentially. So I can say stop right there. And I'm going to bounce to the camera feed on the gimbal itself so that you lot can see what's actually going on. So again, I'll just gesture and bang it's off to be moved. So we've got this neat sturdy case over here if I can just reach for it. And this was inside the iSteady M6 box per se. And yeah, it came with everything inclusive except for the elongated, should I say, elongated stand, which was also extra. And as well as the so I'll grab it from over here so that you lot can get a better feel for it. Okay, so like so. And now you can see that the gimbal per se is moving around wherever I move myself as you can see over here and not it's nothing special but the whole beauty of this is it allows for the running of the whole beauty of this as you can see it allows for the running of the camera software native software for the telephone the camera phone which is always the strongest software for the camera to be running while the tracking is being done by the ai tracking gimbal on the top part of the of the actual gimbal so that's where the iSteady m6 kit comes into play because the kit also comes with the AI tracking device, which is on the top. And that's where the beauty comes from. Okay, y'all. Um, so it's a three axis smartphone stabilizer with fill light and AI vision sensor. So from my understanding that should light up. Uh, once I work out the controls, it can also light up in different ambient lights. The gimbal has up to 400 grams payload. There's DC out for phone charging, so you can charge the gimbal completely. And from my understanding, it's a 10,000 ma battery that's in the gimbal itself. And that's enough to then act as a bank for your telephone to be charging that for a prolonged period of use so that you've got an even sort of a level uh, of use in between the phone diminishing its capacity, um, especially if you're going in AK30 and the gimbal still running up for you know, hours on after. So it helps charge it and 
yeah, it's like an even wear that occurs. I steady 7.0 anti shake system, new three axes designed for free movements, 360 degrees infinite inception, and multifunctional control wheel. So I haven't even touched a control wheel, but it's got an OLED status panel. In the box, it comes with the iSETI M6 uh, gimbal itself, the fill light with AI vision sensor, the tripod, which is just a smaller version of the tripod. So I'll get that as well. So hopefully we'll see myself move around over here. You have to be fairly, you know, like it's smooth, but you want to make sure that you don't freak it completely out. So like in relation to where you're, if you take it on a full on angle, I think I don't have it completely set up properly. Here's the standard standard uh, tripod, which mounts to the bottom of it. It also acts as an additional holder for it. So you get that as well. You also, I, with the kit, with this kit, I got a remote control, but as you can see, if we move this over here, we just hold it there. It will just stop now by just putting, by putting a hand movement up. And if I go like this, it just, it, it activates it again. So it's very receptive. It only seems to be receptive to a human head, um, one frame at a time. Okay, so a couple of heads and it'll sort of go wish-washy um, and get a bit confused. Um, I'm hoping there's ways of tweaking this, but I'm gonna stop it right there. Actually, let's move it, let's move it over here. And then just like there, there we go. Now you can see me from both angles. But with that being said, uh, you also get the storage bag. You get a USB-C charging cable, which is USB-C to USB-A. Then you get a Type-C to Type-C charging cable, which is for the gimbal to phone, if you've got a Type-C connection to your phone. Uh, a, a very hefty user manual. And on top of that, um, you also get, which isn't, in, which isn't disclosed, you get a Type-C to Lightning, which it actually says you have to purchase separately. So I lucked out with that, I guess, because I got the full kit in essence. You sort of have to be in front, you have to be framed in the center of it. But as you can see, uh, it's pretty vicious stuff. And like just moving along, it adds a bit of uh, better, I guess, you, I don't know the words ambience, but action to the fact that I'm in here. When I have it set up in a corner, it will have me moving from say here to the center here um, if I can figure out a way to focus the camera on the action that's occurring in the center of frame instead then you know like on the telephone side the mobile phone side then it will enable me to be able to have my hands as a center otherwise I can always go down low stop it and then as you can see that's how it is okay and that way I can just work on whatever I'm working. So I will go like this. And then if I go down low over here, I don't necessarily want to do that, but just stop it like so. It's going to easily pick up on, or easily pick up on what I'm doing down here, as you can see. Um, problem is getting it from this spot it seems to require a head for some reason in the picture, like the hand gesture. But to turn it off, you just press one button and it turns it off. And if I turn it back on again, it sort of activates and levels itself. And then if we turn that like that, and then bang, it's activated and it's again through here, through here. And it's following my head, as you can tell. So that's that's what's happening there. So this has been quite a raw look at the Ho Hem Ho Ho Hem iSteady M6 kit, which also you can take on the action by grabbing this part here and having it like that, and having it do it will do portrait and landscape as well. And like I said, the beauty of it is 
the AI tracking is done on their side of things. So you don't have to run an app additionally. Um, there is an app that you can use that'll do some other stuff, whatnot, but you don't need to run that app and all your resources can be dedicated to the camera's native software. And as a result, you get the best picture clarity and the best tracking ability that this device can produce. Not for the faint heart of the uh, cost of it, about 300 Australian dollars you're gonna be paying for the full kit, 350 odd dollars for the full kit, including the tripod, the remote, which I'm yet to utilize, as well as the extended tripod, the miniature tripod, and everything else as inclusive. So it's not cheap, but I've seen others for roughly the same price range, and yet they haven't got the same feature pack that this Hohem i Steady M6 kit has and encompasses itself with. So yeah, my name's Sabluka. Thanks for joining us at the Technus Corner. I do a lot of other videos in relation to PC computer tech. So hit that like button and subscribe and you never know what you might get from me. Sometimes this wasn't a complete unboxing video because it was already unboxed, as you can see, y'all. Uh, so yeah, with all that being said, again, thanks for joining us at the Technus Corner. And peace out, y'all. Bye.